The word of the day today is uneasy. Every time I say the word uneasy, a drummer learns guitar. Dave Grohl just admitting to cheating on his wife and betraying his whole family and fathering a child outside of that marriage. We're gonna be getting all up in this mess, but first, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton. I like to make traditional, old-fashioned YouTube videos, and if you comment on this one within the first three hours of it going up, I will reply. Let's get chatty, Kathy. But today, we're here to talk about this very post right here. Dave Grohl is normally known for being everywhere and also very wholesome. And in this case, he seems to be everywhere, but not so wholesome. If you're one of the two people in the world who don't know who Dave Grohl is, I guess I'll explain it really quick. Dave Grohl used to be the drummer for Nirvana back in the early 90s, late 80s. Kurt Cobain tragically passed away in 1994, and Dave Grohl moved on to other projects. He was a drummer that learned guitar. His next band would be the Foo Fighters. And if you're familiar with rock and roll music, you know that the Foo Fighters are right up there. They're not quite there with Nirvana, but they're a very, very famous rock and roll band and have been for like 35 years now. And Dave Grohl normally seems like such a down-to-earth, open human being because any documentary any interview that i see him in he's heaping tons of praise onto the acts that inspired him he's making himself available for all these projects he wants to be open and accessible the dave grohl that you have in your mind is the dave grohl that he wants to be but now we're living in a world where dave grohl isn't just a wholesome rock and roll dad this guy is a lying cheating scumbag so let's dive into this post really quick it does make me feel pretty uneasy but we will make it through the whole thing <clears throat> it says i've recently become a father to a new baby daughter oh that's nice let's finish the sentence born outside of my marriage okay that's a little f***ed up dave grohl I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. Okay, that's a that's a nice sentiment, I guess. What does your current family feel about that? Probably probably not so great, eh? I love my wife and my children, and I'm doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. Well, yeah, you better be, because if I were your family, I would hate you. I would hate you very much. This is the kind of stuff that I think is unforgivable. You can't go out there and betray that kind of trust on that level. And because you are a Dave Grohl type person, you're a rock star. You're held to a different standard. It's like, oh yeah, we know he's gonna cheat, but the fact that you don't cheat, the fact that you don't have a kid outside of your marriage or whatever, that's what made you special, Dave Grohl. You were like a diamond in the rough, but now it seems like you are that rough. Diving back in, we're grateful for your consideration towards all the children involved as we move forward together, Dave. Now the reason why I'm so uneasy over this is because it goes back and forth, right? Like you want to be like, oh Dave Grohl, you're such a nice guy because you're going to be a loving and supportive parent. But you should be a loving and supportive parent no matter what. You shouldn't have to come out and say this, but it's with a woman who isn't your wife. And Dave Grohl is keeping the identity of his mistress kind of secret right now, which is making this even more suspicious and even more grimy. Now I can't say or claim that I've been the biggest Dave Grohl fan for my entire life, but I have heaps of respect for this guy. Well, I had heaps of respect for this guy. I held this man to a high degree of standard because of what he's accomplished, because of his talents, and because of how humble and grounded he seemed to be throughout this whole thing. And now we're in the year 2024. Dave Grohl is 55 years old, and that's when he decides to be a scumbag. That's when he decides to be a lying, cheating manipulator. I don't like this whatsoever. And then the next line after he wants to be a loving and supportive parent is, I love my wife and children. That part, I don't know if I believe. I don't know if you love your family if you're out there cheating on them. That means they're a second thought. That means you're holding your needs above them. And then your needs created a whole new human being out here. This isn't as cut and dry and as wholesome as he makes it seem to be. You have been a scumbag. You can't use this kind of like phrasing the way that you did your whole life, Dave Grohl, for us to be like, oh, he's such a good guy. He's such an awesome fella. He's going to be loving and supportive and he loves his family and he loves his children. All of that reads like a lie now. All of that reads like heaps of bullshit. 
I am doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. What is it that you're doing, Dave? Are you trying to create a time machine to go back in time to uncheat, to unget this baby? You know that expression, you made the bed and now you gotta lay in it? That's that's kind of what goes on here. I don't know if you deserve the love and forgiveness of your wife and children after this kind of thing. You can't just go around cheating on people, brother, and then just be like, oh, tee hee, I'm so sorry, I'm Dave Grohl, they'll forgive me eventually, right? You forgive me, right, audience? I'm Dave Grohl. I've been in rock and roll bands. So many songs you know me from. Separate the art from the artist. I'm a real good guy. And Dave Grohl, if you're able to move heaven and earth and get your family to forgive you, you have to understand how much of an accomplishment and how much of a feat that is. You have to come back from serious depths in any real world scenario to overcome this. This is like a marriage ending, family breaking type thing in the real world. Now I know you're a big famous celebrity guy and you guys play by different rules than regular people, but regular people normally don't get past this kind of thing. This is the kind of trust shattering behavior that destroys families. Oh, I'm not speaking from experience over here at all. I know nothing about that. Not at all. My parents weren't the most lying, cheating, most manipulative heads in the world. No, not at all. I'm not jaded or bitter at all. Mm -mm -mm. If you come from a family of divorce, if you come from a family of a bunch of cheating liars, you know how painful this is. And especially if you have years and decades worth of trust that's been built up. We, the audience, have an image of Dave Grohl in our mind, and his family would have that times a million. He would be their role model, their hero. But now, what is he after this? I guess you can go and love your new kid and just like forget about your other kids because that's normally in my experience how it goes. Oh whoopsie I cheated and now I'm stuck with this like family B that I didn't even want to begin with. But that's kind of what you've done over here Dave girl. And then you made this very personal thing public with this statement. Did you really need to drag your wife and children into this publicly right now? I don't know if that needs to be the thing. If you're really doing everything you can to earn their trust and forgiveness I'm not sure if a big public statement like this is the way about it. Maybe they're like, oh, he's, he's willing to, to shame himself in front of his audience. He's putting that out there. Oh, this is really nice of him. This is good. This is a good step forward, Dave Grohl. Admitting you're bad to your audience. Yeah. But to me, I don't see it that way. I see this as throwing your old family and your new family both under the bus and being like, I'm a big piece of shit that don't know how to handle my own So we're on the internet. We're used to seeing creeps and predators, people going after young people, Scientologists, violent crime apologists, that kind of thing. This isn't quite that bad, but cheating, lying, manipulating, that kind of scumbag behavior is still not very savory, okay? I still don't respect it a lot. But at the end of the day, this is just like another man's personal affairs, and once my video is done, that's the end of it. I'm not really gonna invest too much more into this situation than what you've seen so far in this video. That being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I put up a slop video on my slop channel, I put up a graffiti video on my video game channel, both today, go check those out right now. Huge content day in the Frampton land. Always something to watch. So that's three videos down, and now I gotta go to my shoot job. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.